Hello everyone, it's Blaster, and welcome to episode number 24 of our Pokemon Moon Emerald Nuzlocke here on the channel. In the last episode, you guys, we went ahead and did, did a little bit of cleanup work over at the observatory in Moss Deep City. And we did all this in Team uh, Magma Shenanigans, and today is going to be an episode full to the brim of Team Aqua Shenanigans. So if you guys are hyped for some more Moon Emerald, and of course if you like sharing support, make sure you leave a like, because you know it is greatly appreciated. Come on, you know you know that by now. I say, I say, I say it every episode. Let's get a quick team recap. Up first, we have Gooder. Level 42, our bold, natured, Alolan Sand Slash. Holding that lax in sense. Rockin' Iron Head, Stone Edge, Toxic and Iron Defense. I'm gonna see if Speaks level 42, or Adam natured a uh, Mimikyu. I almost said Alolan Mimikyu. That's not right. Holding the shell bell, rocking shell class, shell sneak, strength, and bulk up. Hopefully, I'll get the strength time you deserve in today's episode. I'm nice to have Lauren, which are uh, she not a little 41. Nice and quiet nature, of course. Holding the quick clock, cause she ain't all that speedy. But that's okay, cause she's rocking Giga Drain, Leech Seed, Sleep Powder, and Amnesia. I'm nice to have Nam, level 42, our bold natured Del Fox, holding the King's Rock. Rocking Flamethrower, Psychic Shadow Ball, and Calm Mind. Look at that beautiful moveset. Ah, oh, it's, it's like a pretty move. It's like, it's like a pretty move set. Anyways, up next we have Traitor level 42, our Hasty Nature Sharpedo. Holding the King's Rock, Rock and Surf, Crunch, Psychic Fang, and Dive. And last, but certainly not least, we have Volrus level 42, our Gentle Nature Tyrantrum. Holding the Black Glasses, Rock and Dragon Claw, Rock Tomb, Crunch, and Spikes. But we're probably going to have to give you Rock Tomb. Also, I'm going to go and put Lauren up front because. Yeah, because she's the only one that hasn't hit level 42 yet. Also, I need to spray a Matropel, because I don't want to be dealing with all these Zubats flying around. And I also need to teach uh, Volros uh, Rock Smash, like I said I was going to. A million different things happen, and I know. Alright, Rock Smash. Teach Rock Smash to a Pokemon, yes. Literally our entire team, except for Lauren, can learn Rock Smash. Okay, then. But yeah, um, Volros has like the most expendable move slot with Spikes. I mean, I could have talked to Gooder and gotten rid of the Iron Defense, but I want to save that slot in case we ever get an Ice-type move. Like, uh, I don't know, is Icicle Crack in this game? I am not sure. But what I am sure of is that we need to go ahead and move this rock out the way. And we already have strength on Mimikyu. So I had to, I had to take it to Mimikyu from grinding, and I was figuring, you know what, we're gonna need strength soon. Uh, let me just keep it on, why not? Why not? Let me just keep it on. Alright, let's go and battle this Team Aqua Goon. What you doing, boy? What you doing? Alright, Team Aqua Grant has one Pokemon, it's a Rattata. It's an Alolan Rattata, though. Hey. Alright, level 36. That's fine. She just died to a single Giga Drain. Super Fang, why are you doing this? Also, I like how in this game, that has the exact same animation as Psychic Fang. Like, they literally just took Super Fang's animation and was like, okay, you know what? We'll make the Psychic Fang. Like, they didn't even, they didn't even change anything. Like, they could've, you know, they could've put the little Psychic background on it. Like, you know, the animation when you use the move Psychic. They could've, like I said, you know, done that. Like, they could've kept the Super Fang animation, but put the, uh, the Psychic thing in the background is what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, I'm actually not really sure what the correct pathway is, like, like, ha like how to get through here. I think it's trying kind of random shit. I'm just going to move this big boulder out of the way. It's a big old boulder. It's a big old boulder. We got a strong ass Mimikyu. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Now we've got business. Uh, I, think I think this is the right way, actually. So I might actually uh, want to go back and just kind of see what... Kind of see what's popping over with the other, uh, peop the other area. Uh, no? Okay. Alright, I can't speed this up because, you know, otherwise... Otherwise we'll be here for a while if I just, you know, just don't speed up. Okay, what's over here, first of all? Oh, another water area. Interesting. Alright, um, what's over here? I'm curious. Uh, okay, we go over here. We I mean, don't go over here. We go here, maybe? Nope. That's just gonna send me right back here. Alright. Well, that was fun while it lasted. <laughs> Alright, let's try this way. And then this way. And then over here. And then... Here? And then... He oh, shit. And then up here. Oh, I see. These two just, like, they just leave the same spot. Okay. Um, is there a way to go back? Because, I, cause, you know, I want to try to, like, you know, just explore this place. Because, you know, I might... I, you know, I want to I wanna battle some people. <laughs> I want to battle some goons and whip some ass. I want to just clear out this place and, like... Five seconds. Uh oh. <laughs> we can't go back from there. All right. Um. 
All right, then I guess I'll just pause and I'll come back when I'm back there, I guess. All right, we're back over here. So now it's time to whoop some more ass and head over this way. It's already tiny inside, I'm sore all over, okay. All right, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, my dude. I think you're a bad guy, fuck you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I say fuck you, because you're- Are you kidding me? They took the the one sprite of Skun Tank that I absolutely hate is the one they put in this game. Why would you do this game? Why would you- The creators of Moon Emerald. You could have chosen any of the Skun Tank sprites, but you chose that specific one. That specific one is the one you- is the sprite you chose to use for Skun Tank in this game. Why? It's literally the worst one, the only Skun Tank sprite that is just bad. I mean, I suppose there's really only two, because, you know, well, I mean, if you, I mean, you can take the one from black, you could, you know, take, like, a, a still of the one from black and white, but that's pretty much the same as the one in Diamond and Pearl, so... But still, you could have chosen that one over the fucking... I, I, I just hate that sprite. I, I've, I've talked about it before. I'm sure you can see why I hate it. It's just... It's just weird. Like, why would... Alright, uh, we don't have any lava cookies anymore, we don't have that many full heals either, so we may need to be a little bit on the careful side, if we ever get poisoned again. Uh, Alright, what's over here? Is there anything, is there anything of actual value over here? We're about to find out. Let's go ahead and push this rock down a little bit. Bam, bam. Let's go ahead and break this rock with our Tyrannosaurus Rex Pokemon. Okay, oh, ooh, this is, have I ever seen this area before? I don't know if I have. Oh, this literally just takes us back to, okay. Okay, this literally just takes us back to, uh, freaking, okay. Okay, uh, oh, actually, never mind. We, for the that we were stuck, and I was like, fuck, I gotta go back. But nope, we good. We good. Okay, so I guess a little area. Alright. Okay, I can't see what was there. Alright, so now we can go over here, and then go over here, and then go over here. And then go over here, I think. Yeah. 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 Alright. So now we can choose to do a strength puzzle or a double battle. And fuck the strength puzzle, I'm doing a battle. I like, I, I, I want to do more battles with this team. Because, you know, I want to get more, I guess, accustomed to this team. I mean, I know, you know, any of them could die at any second, but still. <laughs> I want to get, I want to get, you know, more, more battles in with this team so I can, you know, start deciding... I mean, I don't want to say start picking favorites, but I mean, that is kind of how Nuzlocke's work. You know, there's always, like, one or two Pokemon on your team that you end up preferring over the rest, based on ha based on their performance in battles. Uh, alright. We got two Dark types out here, which is, I mean, it's kind of... And we, have, I mean, we resist, but at the same time, we don't, can't really touch them. So, I can go and switch out anyways. Because, um, yeah, I mean, I know I said I was going to... I know I said I was going to try to give Speaks more screen time, but, like... It's kind of hard to do that when, like, everything is either resisted or I'm just trying to, like, you know, raise other Pokemon. Like, right now, I'm trying- I'm mostly trying to get Lauren to 42 before anything else. So, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Alright, Giga Drain to lie hard. Almost Oko it. Hell yeah. Alright, now let's go ahead and Giga Drain the Persian. And too bad we don't have, like, Earthquake or something, because that would be lit if we did. That's okay. Go for Assurance on the Fairy type. Good choice. Smart choice, Lipard. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for intelligent plays. Down you go. And, uh, I mean, I don't think a Giga Drain will Oko this person, but it'll, it'll at least do a fair amount. And you have a Zoroark, okay. Interesting Zoroark. Oh, you have Intimidate, okay. That's a little unfortunate for Volrus, but what can you do? Alright, going Giga Drain the person. How much are we doing? How much are we doing? That's a nice chunk of damage. That is a nice chunk of damage. Let's go ahead and finish you off, and I guess we'll just go ahead and, uh, freaking Dragon Claw the Zoroark, because why not? Why not, am I right? Torment? Why are you doing this? Who are you tormenting? Okay, tor tormenting Volros, that's fine, I don't care. That's fine, kind of just like rock to you on the next turn, because Dragon Claw should put you in a decent range. Yeah, okay, that's a pretty decent range. Go ahead and take out the person with this Giga Drain. Actually, I, c I, I could have doubled up on the, on the Zoroark, Gotten that side out of the way, but eh. Eh. <laughs> Alright. Honchkrow. Ooh, okay. I might, I might have to get I might have to get Lauren out of here. I might have to get Lauren out of here and send in Gooder, I guess. Sending Gooder, even though we don't we still don't have any ice type moves. 
and I guess just go for the Rock Tomb. Try to get the Zoroark out. I don't I don't know if it'll kill because we're minus one, but we can try at least. We sure can try. Go for the Rock Tomb. How much are we doing? Survey says... Hey, we killed. I mean, we're like six levels above, so I probably should have... Probably should have expected that, but you know. Swagger, why are you... Why are you doing this, Honk Crow? Like, actually, why are you doing this? You don't have to be this much of a dick. You can just, you know... <laughs> just let me win. You know, just, just, just throw. Just throw the game. Just throw the game. Just, just throw the game. Why not? Alright, Gooder, I swear to fucking... Thank you. <laughs> I swear... If you hurt yourself, but you know, you know, you're too good, you're too gooder to hurt, to hit yourself in confusion. You're too gooder for that. Yes, I know that's improper grammar. Any new people might get on me in the comments. Actually, I don't know. I mean, it's, I, I, and I'm sure you can probably tell that, you know, my names are kind of mo mostly random, unless I have, like, you know, a good name for the Pokemon, like, with... Actually, do I have any Pokemon on my, on my team that are like that right now? Or, like, I'm kind of pretty sure... Okay, okay, no, we got Lauren. And the other than Lauren, pretty much the entire team is just like random, well, kind of random, I mean. Traitors because, you know, he killed our, our Gyarados. Uh, fucking Speaks is because of a PokeTuber thing that I watch, but yeah. Other than that, the entire rest of the team, so basically, basically about half the team is just random names. Also, I completely forgot this was here. I'll be perfectly honest, I forgot this was here. Uh, and I was just talking about Earthquake on Tyrantrum earlier, too, but we have Rock Smash now, so I can't do that yet until we get out of here. Which is a little unfortunate, but what can you do? Who can I teach Earthquake to? I can teach to- Ooh, I can teach to Gooder. I can teach to Traitor. Alright, I think I might teach to Gooder. I might get rid of... I might get rid of Iron Defense for now, because, you know, we don't really need that. We don't really need that. I, I, I want to keep Stone Egg around in case, you know, we encounter any flying types, because... Again, for the thousandth time, we don't have any uh, ice type stab on Gooder, which is, you know, unfortunate, but what can you do? What can you do? Let me know in the comment section below. What can you do? What can you do? I want to I wanna know in the comments. What can you do? Anyways, we're making pretty decent time on this episode. Let's go ahead and... Hey, Kyogre. Yarr! Hold it right there. Arr, matey. Foo foo foo. So is you, after all. Behold! See how beautiful it is, the sleeping form of the ancient Pokemon Kyogre! I waited so long for this day to come. It surprises me how you managed to chase me here. But that's all over now. It's all over now. For the realization of my dream, you must disappear now! Arr! Hey, I, lo I love this music. It's probably one of my favorite third gen soundtracks. Like, top three, top three favorite third gen soundtracks. This, the gym leader theme, and the frontier brain theme. Alright, what are you leading with? You're leading with a Persian, okay. Okay, I think Lauren can handle a Persian. Oh, look how close we are to level 42. Gosh darn it. Alright, well, I wasn't trying to leech seed you anyways. That's fine. Go for a Giga Drain. This should do a, a respectable amount of damage. You know, you know, Lauren, Lauren, Lauren isn't anything to laugh at. Actually, that, that, that did barely half. Ew. This is a Super Potion. Why are you using a Super Potion this late in the game? Archie, what are you doing? What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Alright, go for a Giga Drain. Alright, we might be able to kill one more if we get a ma if we get a max roll, or at least a high roll. Mineral, probably not. <laughs> Alright, so I said... Hey, max roll. Hey, or, or, or just not a mineral, really. Pretty sure anything other than a mineral killed there. Alright, what are you sending in next? Crobat. Alright. Alright, Crobat. Um, should be able to send in Nammo here. So we haven't seen any- we haven't seen much of Nammo yet in today's episode, so let's go ahead and send you in to take on this Crobat. Hello, Crobat. Are you ready to catch a Psychic? Mean luck? I wasn't planning on going nowhere. Not until I whoop that Crobat ass of yours. Just so you know. Alright, Psychic should Oko, cause yeah, we're, we're a fucking Delphox, come on now. What kind of world would it be, other than the inverse battle, where a Psychic would not Oko a, a Crobat? Unless you were like, you know, significantly lower level. Also, he's sending in a crocodile. I'm gonna send in traitor because, you know, water around. Basic type matchup. Basic type advantage, I should say. Ooh, look at that sprite. That's a nice ass sprite. All right, I see you, crocodile. Going for intimidate. That's fine because uh, I, I was gonna go for surf anyways. Go for that surf. How much are we doing? I don't think this will Oko because he's a, he's a level above us. But ooh, we came, we came close. We came close. 
scary face? <laughs> oh no, I'm so spooked. Look at how scary your face is. So fucking terrifying, am I right, guys? Why are you- why- why- you, don't, you literally just threw. You literally just threw. You could have gone for any attack, but you literally just threw the game. Critical hit did not matter. <laughs> Trader might be trying a little bit too hard, but that's okay. You know, it's better to try too hard than not try hard enough. That was- that was fucking easy. We literally just pretty much- well, I mean, we didn't Oko his entire team, but, you know. We came close. <coughs> yeah, I'm still- I'm still a little sick. Not- not, not too sick, but, you know. Still not 100% yet. A little congested. Fufu-fufu! Arrgh! Fufu-fufu! I commend you, I must recognize you are truly gifted! But! I have this in my possession! With this red orb, I can make Kyogre! The red orb will suddenly be shining by itself. Oh my god, it's a sentient red orb. Alright. Do, 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 do. Oh my god, Kyogre's awakening. Look at this Pokemon. Personally, I prefer Kyogre over Groudon, but that's just me. Or, I don't think it's just me. You know, you know, you know what I mean. What? I didn't do anything. Why did the red orb? Where did Kyogre go? Arr, hmm, it's a message from our members outside. Yes, what is it? Hmm, it's raining heavily. Good, that should have happened. That's why we awakened Kyogre to realize Team Aqua's vision of expanding the sea. What? It's raining far harder than we envisioned. You're in danger. That can't be. That's just not possible. Hold your position and monitor the situation. Arr, there's something wrong. The Red Orb is supposed to awaken and control Kyogre. But why? Why did Kyogre disappear? Why? What have you wrought, Archie? You finally awakened Kyogre, aren't you? What will happen if to what will happen to the world if this downpour continues for all eternity? The world's landmass will drown in the deepening sea. Yar, what? Don't get all high and mighty with me. Wasn't it you, Team Aqua, then Team Magma, then Furious Groudon? So long as I have this right arm, I should be able to control Kyogre. I should be able to control it. First of all, you fucking bitch, don't call us Team Aqua. Second of all, we don't have the time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See if what you've wrought is the world that we desired. We? Is it just me that, or is it, is it just me or does that line seem like a mistake, kind of? Like... Because, you know, it shouldn't be we, because they're supposed to be on opposite sides, but whatever. Techno, te uh, Techno, come on, you have to get out of here, too. Oh my god, all this rain. And also, hold on a second, because the filter's on. Okay, sorry about that, yeah, I guess, it, yeah, this game, I guess, has this, like, this weird filter for, you know, 5 p.m. Anyways. Yar, what happened? What is this wrecked scene? Did I make a horrible mistake? I, I only wanted... Do you understand now, RQ? Do you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be? We have to hurry, we have to do something before our situation goes completely out of control. Techno, don't say anything. I know that I have no right to be critical of Archie, but the way things are now, I doubt that we humans will be capable of doing anything about it. But neither can we stand by and just walk helplessly. The responsibility for putting an end to this falls to Archie and me, even though I'm the, uh, I'm the one who has to step up and do everything as usual. This defies belief. Those super ancient Pokemon. Their power is unbelievable, they've upset the balance of nature. Off they go. But wait, there's more! Oh yes, Techno, what is happening? This is terrible. After the scorching heat wave ended, the, this, this deluge began. If this, if this doesn't stop, all of heaven, no, the whole the whole world will drown. This huge rain cloud is spreading from above Sutopolis. What in the world is taking place there? There's no point arguing here. Sutopolis might provide answers. Techno, I don't, I don't know what you intend to do. But don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Sutopolis. Alright, see you, dog. So yeah, we also have to go to Sutopolis, and the repels effect wore off, and I'm pretty sure that's the route where we've already gotten something, so I'm going to go and put up another repel. Hopefully this time we'll maybe be able to get an underwater encounter at some point. But for the time being, we just gotta head over to Sutopolis, which I'm pretty sure is up this way. We just gotta look for the White Rock place area thing. That's really all we gotta look for. <coughs> Alright, let's go ahead and slide our way up here. Uh, I think we're getting close-ish, I wanna say. I think- no, never mind, that's Moss Deep City, we went too far. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, I think what we actually have to do is we have to head down, we have to head to the left, I'm pretty sure. Uh, do we have to head this way? Or is it still too high up? Or still too far up, I should say. No, I think this is about it. Yep, we're here, alright. Repose foot we're off, that's actually perfect timing, cause now I have to head underwater where we can get an underwater encounter in the seaweed that's here. Hell yeah. There's still no music here. Why the fuck is there no music here? It's still... <laughs> so, so weird. Like, why is there no music here? 
Anyways, our encounter underwater is a king cow. Okay. All right, I'll take a king cow. I will accept a king cow with open arms, because you know what else I'm supposed to do? Like, you know, just kill it and just turn it down? No, I'm not gonna do that because it's a valuable encounter. All right. All right, listen here, little bitch. Listen here, you little bitch. One, two, three, bam. There we go. There we go. We went, we went ahead and caught ourselves a nice king cow. King cow's dad was at the book. Actually, angler Pokemon. It shoots positive and negative electricity between the tips of, the tips of its two antennae and zaps its enemies. All right. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and name you. This is an usual name that I give you, but you know what? Hey. I'm going to name you... Zip. Zip, 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 zop. <laughs> there we go, zip, zop. We have zip, zop the king cow. Hell yeah, boy. Alright. Now we have to go ahead and slide over here into this little area here, which is, of course, Sutopolis City, as soon as we dive up. Hey, there we are. Well, look, it's, oh my god, they're right in front of me. They're way tinier than they should be. And I know third tank rock, I can only do so much, but you know. Wow, look at this epic fight. They're just sitting there staring at each other. Oh, Kyogre made a noise. They ran at each other, and the shit shook. Now Groudon made a noise. They ran at each other again. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seeing any attacks go off, though. They're just running at each other. <laughs> They're just running at each other and shaking the screen. God damn it, stop shaking my screen. Hey, guys, how you doing? What's poppin'? Uh, can we get a Sutopolis encounter, or is it just gonna be Mad Carps? I'm gonna see. Or can we not get anything yet? Uh, can I fish? Uh, not even a nibble. Oh, a bite. Okay, so we can't, we, we can actually fish. I mean, it might, it's probably just nice cars, but you know, we can at least try. Got away. Fuck. Actually, wait, do, wait, is this a super rod? Oh, fuck. It got away. Why, why did these, these bitches keep getting away? <laughs> why did these bitches keep getting away? Myself, 2016. Or 2018. Alright. We do have the super rod, by the way, so let's go ahead and see if we can get something spiffy. A bite. A bite. A bite. Fuck! Why is it... <sighs> Come on, dog. A bite. A bite. A bite. A bite. Fuck! I'm so done with this. Come on, dog. Not even a fucking dog. This is fucking stupid. A bite. A bite. A bite. I you can't you can't even fucking blink. I literally blinked and I missed it. A bite. A bite. A bite. A bite. Finally! Alright, watch this be something stupid. Like, I wasted all that time for a... Ah, stoops. <sighs> Fucking... Why? I mean, it's a little... It's a little 43, though. Jeez! Jeez, dude! So high level! Alright, can I see if I can get anything else? I mean, I, don't, I, don't, I really don't want to do that again, but at the same time, I want to see if I can get something new. So I'm going to shut up for a second. I had to, like, literally stop breathing almost. Alright, we got that time. Alright, what is it this time? Is it another Gyarados? It's a Magikarp. Why? Come on, there has to be something else. I don't want... I don't want to give up... I want. I don't want to end the episode until I get an encounter here. So I'm just gonna sit here. I mean, you know, it could, it could just be... could very well just be Gyarados and Magikarp. I feel like there's like something else that's here, other than just those two. I know, like, I know you guys probably don't want to see me sit, see me sit here and just do this, but like, you know, I want to try to get something here. Okay, that was, that was okay. That, that was my fault. Alright, 
we get this time? Another fucking... Alright, I'm trying one more time. And if I don't get something, then I'll eat... I mean, I might, get, I might just have to cack, you know, if, we get, if I just get another mag carp. Can you let me escape? Fine, I'll just fucking murder your ass. I don't give a shit. Doesn't matter to me. <laughs> I, you know, I, I want to take the easy way out, but you're like, nope. Alright, I'll try one more time. And I'll either catch what I find, even if it's dupes, or I'll just say fuck it and just end the episode. <laughs> and try again something else. That was actually really easy. It's another Max Carp. <sighs> Do I want to catch another Gyarados? I mean... <sighs> no, I, I, I still believe that we can, get, we can get something new here. I'm not gonna get in this episode, because I'm sure you guys are fucking tired of this already. You know, I spent like fucking three, four minutes doing this. But like, I mean, it's not my fault the third gen fishing mechanics are fucking stupid. Alright, let's go and heal up. And before I end the episode, I want to go and see, because we caught a, we've caught a bunch of Pokemon in the last couple episodes. So I want to go ahead and have a look at all of those in the PC. Starting with this Wimpod here, which is serious, nice and neutral, okay. And it's got Bug Bite. We have a Lax Marini, which does something with defenses, so it lowers one of them, which isn't the best for a defensive Pokemon, but what can you do? Impish Gold, that's actually pretty solid. And a Mild King Chow, which is also fairly solid. Alright, so we didn't really get a single bat, like a single awful nature, per se. You know, Marini's could be better, but what can you do? Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and... Enough of the fishing shit. I'm gonna wrap it up right here. If you guys enjoyed, and of course you wanna show your support, make sure you leave a like, because you already know your support is greatly appreciated. But I will catch you guys in the next episode, where we will go ahead and see what we can do about this whole... This whole, this whole thing going on with Kyogre and Groudon. Until next time, I'm Audi 5 Bajillion. Bye!